In the past, I've done a video on using ingrams in Google Ads accounts. If you're interested in that, you can check out the video at the top of the screen right now. But the other day I was browsing an account and I found a new feature that, while not quite as robust, can do some similar lifting to what that script can do for you. So in this video, I wanna walk you through where that new feature lives, show you what it does, and talk about how you can use it in your account. If you're a regular viewer of our videos, you know that I usually give a caveat at the beginning of some of these videos when we have to use a live client account for the actual feature that we're trying to show off. In this case specifically, we're looking at search terms for a client account, which means there's gonna be a lot of sensitive information in here. So even though I'm trying to show off how this search term feature works, we're gonna have to blur some things out, but you'll still be able to understand how everything works and get an idea of how you can use it in your accounts. Now this video is gonna be a little bit different than others because I'm gonna to go to a tab that I rarely go to in Google Ads, and that's gonna be the overview tab over here in the top portion of the secondary navigation. There's lots of different cards on this overview tab, and just like I was mentioning earlier, lots of them have sensitive information in them, so I'm gonna scroll down to the one that I wanna find right away. And the one we're gonna focus on today is this searches word bubble looking card over here. It's a pretty basic set of functionality, but there are some things to look at. So first, you can kind of tell that there's gonna be two main categories, searches and words, and then there's ways that you can sort the different insights for these, whether it's impressions, clicks, conversions, or cost. By default, it's done by cost, and it's always gonna to default to searches for you to start. Now, effectively, all of these little bubbles that are in this chart, I know most of them are blurred, are going to be a specific search query that we see in the account. There's also a little bit of color grading. You can see that the first circle here, health insurance, has a dark blue circle. And then as we go further down the card, I know they're blurred out, but the blue circle gets a little bit lighter. That just means that health insurance and then the second one down here, medical insurance, has some of the higher cost associated in the account. Now that's all well and good, but the part that I find the most useful is not in the searches column, it's actually in the words tab of this report. And now we can see a report that is somewhat similar to what that ingram analysis would look like. Now we're not seeing the searches that people conducted and triggered our ads. We're looking at the individual words that made up those queries. And this is where we can get some really useful information. So as I mentioned, this is going to be sorted by cost. But the first thing that I like to do is come in here and see instead of cost, let's look at conversions. I'm just going to click all conversions. And now we can see in descending order, the individual words that made up the highest converting search queries within the account. Obviously this is a pretty useful set of information. And on this tab specifically, you can tell that we had 10 different pages that look about like this. So there's lots of individual words that make up the performance in this account. But now the question becomes, what can we do with this information? there's a number of different actions we can take from this one card on the overview tab. So let's start to run through them. Just for the sake of keeping things straight and ideally not having to blur a lot of other things, let's say we wanted to look into how the word info performed in our campaigns. All I would need to do is hover over this bubble and then this new card is gonna pop up with a decent amount of information here. First, we're gonna see a number of different searches that had the word info included in them. You get to see at a high level the number of impressions, clicks and conversions that were associated with those search terms. You get to see that there were 10 more different search queries that included the word info. And then you can see that there's an estimated total down here that says that this was for about 61 impressions, six clicks and one conversion. Now we don't have cost here, but my guess is since we only had six clicks, this is probably a pretty low cost per conversion compared to this account. But from this card, we can also do two separate things. We can either add this as a keyword or add it as a negative keyword. Now, as I said, this word as part of a search query has pretty decent performance for this account. But let's just say we wanted to add it as a negative keyword to start. All I would need to do is click this button. It would then open up an editor where I can directly add the negative keyword as info phrase match. I could change the match type if I want. I can select if I want to add it as a negative keyword to the campaign an ad group or a keyword list. I cannot add it as an account level negative, but this is still a pretty good set of controls that we've got here. And then if I left it at the campaign level, I would then get to choose the campaign. If I left it at ad group, I get to choose the ad group, keyword list, you get it. You get to choose the keyword list that you added it to here. 
So overall, that's a pretty quick and easy way to add negative keywords if you find them showing up in this words card. For now, I don't actually wanna exclude this one, so I'm gonna click cancel. But now let's say instead of adding it as a negative keyword, I wanna add it as a keyword. And this is where this process deviates just a little bit. If I click add as a keyword, the same feature pops up where I can add it as a keyword, but now rather than adding the individual word info, it has selected one of the search queries that has info included in it as the keyword to add. Now, obviously you can change this as need be just by clicking in here, typing in something different. You can still change the match type and whatnot, but if you're trying to add a specific keyword based on this chart, make sure that you know that it's going to add one of the search queries in total, not just the original word that you were looking for in this word chart. After that, you'll need to choose the specific campaign and ad group that you wanna add this to, and you can add a final URL if you want to. So overall, lots of actions that you can take directly from the chart that's available here. But let's say you weren't totally set on whether or not you wanna use info as a keyword or a negative keyword because the performance looks okay, but maybe some of the search terms look a little bit goofy. Rather than clicking on one of the buttons here, if you were to just click on the word info or any of the word bubbles in this card, you'll then be taken to the search terms report, as you can see over here on the left, and you'll have all the search terms filtered for anything that contains the word info. So now we can see the same types of options that we saw at the very beginning, but you'll then be able to customize the columns for all of the different performance that you would wanna see, just the same way you would for any set of search terms. I'm not gonna scroll through this whole report because there's gonna be a lot of stuff that we've gotta blur out, but if you need to get better insights or you wanna see what the cost per conversion is for that info term, in this case, you can see all of the search terms that include that word, and the different performance that it has across your account, campaign, or ad group, depending on what level you're reviewing this words card in. But if you wanna take this a step further and have all of this data visible in one place without having to click on individual word bubbles, go to different reports in the account, there's one last thing you can do with this words report. If I come up to these three dots over here, I can click on that. And then if you download the card data in a CSV, Google then automatically download things in a zip file for you. Once I unzip them on my computer, I get two files. I get searches that is the word report and one that is the search report. Remember individual words and then search query phrases. So if I open up the word document, then you'll get a report that looks like this. I've already done a quick find and replace for any of the brand phrases that need to be excluded here. So you might see brand a few times, but that's just to make it so we don't have to blur anything out here. But now I can see the individual word performance. If we go down to the bottom, there are 300 words that it gives me, and I can now see the cost, clicks, impressions, and conversions associated with all of those. Not to mention, I can see, if I open this up, the top containing queries, meaning the queries that had the highest volume that contained that individual word. So at this point, I could start to run some filters to find which words had the best performance in the account, cross-check those against the queries to make sure that they are high enough quality and are actually leading to good quality quality leads, and then decide whether or not I wanna add those words as negative keywords, or if I wanna add some of the top containing queries as keywords in the account based on the performance that we're seeing. Now, for some reason, this report specifically has thrown some sort of an error because all the conversions are showing up as zero, even though that is very inaccurate. So just keep an eye on that. But as you can tell, the column is supposed to be here. So this is likely just an error that happened this one time around. But once you have this report, now you can do all sorts of things to try and gain insights into which words or phrases are driving performance in your campaigns and deciding what to do with them, whether to add them or exclude them or just leave them alone for the time being. Personally, I think this is a really cool insight to have right within the Google Ads interface. And then also having a very easy ability to download this information and utilize it to optimize your campaigns. As I've mentioned a couple times, it's not nearly as robust as that Ngram script that I talked about before. That report can show you not just singular words, but two word, three word, four word phrases and how they appear in your account. So if you need something more robust, you'll need to check out that video that I mentioned in the intro. But for just a really high level and understanding individual words in your account, this is an excellent resource that can really save you a lot of time and money so that you're not just running search term reports and filtering one-offs or making assumptions based on small sets of data. 
you can actually see how things are performing and then take action based on what the actual performance is, not guesses. If you have any other questions about how to use this word search report or anything else in the Google Ads interface, let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching our video. We really appreciate it. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up below. If you really liked it, maybe think about subscribing to the Paid Media Pros YouTube channel and you'll get alerted every time a new video drops. If you really, really liked it, you can help support the channel by checking out some of the t-shirts that we're wearing on our merch shelf, as well as looking at the Super Thanks button.